What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I want to talk about one of the most important fundamental cornerstones and concepts in the game known as compliance. Okay, Mystery from the book Mystery Method talks extensively about this. I actually used the ideas of compliance to form the basis of my method. Okay, It's also the cornerstone of really effective sales methods Okay, and persuasion in general. So if you are new to my channel, please click subscribe below so you are alerted to new videos every week. Uh, let's start off with, I want to go over the section in, in Mystery's book called The Mystery Method, the section on compliance. So he says, one concept central to the Mystery Method is compliance testing. Oh, really quick, um, I got some emails yesterday after I put out that uh, announcement. I'm doing an immersion program in Florianopolis Brazil with four other elite coaches. Okay, that's in the month of November. If you do have interest in that, there's going to be limited spots. Make sure you email me at johnanthonylifestyle@gmail.com. If you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, watch my last video on the special announcement. Okay, so he says one concept central to the mystery method is compliance testing. Request your target to do something for you, be it hold your drink, hold your arm, scratch your back, kiss you, or spread her legs. If she complies with your move, several things are accomplished okay first it is an indicator of interest ping and also creates attraction second you have escalated she is now more comfortable third her frame has been further influenced and absorbed by your own okay so uh he says if she complies you reward her with an indicator of interest okay but do so intermittently so that you are not a given so that you're not giving her the whole thing I've talked about cat string theory where you dangle the, the cat string you give her little bits of reward okay and this is all psychological principles here if you were to go into a casino and you sat down on a slot machine and you pulled the lever and you won and you pulled the lever and you won and you pulled the lever and you won yes you'd be, be getting a bunch of money but it's not as addicting like like the thrill comes from this intermittent dopamine hit okay dopamine is a chemical in our brains it's responsible for pleasure this is what you're getting on on facebook and in these other places like they they gear their marketing in the way that you interact with their particular app or their system so you're getting these dopamine hits all right tinder's not going to give you a match on every right right swipe but you don't know when it's coming and every now and then you right swipe and it's a match boom dopamine hit okay the same is true here. That's when he's talking about intermittently rewarding them with interest back to them, okay? Rather than just giving them interest all the time. He says, you might do a compliance test with her hands, holding her hands, then throw them away, but then her next compliance might be rewarded with a comp, what does it say? Let's see, with a compliment or another touch or by turning to face her more with a smile, etc. So, and then he says, you, you follow this with an indicator of disinterest, create sexual tension. I'm not going to go into all the different uh, indicators of disinterest. Think of it like this. When you open a stranger, when you approach a stranger, that's compliance test. She'll be receptive to your open or she will not. When you go to isolate her in the bar away from her friends, okay, here, let's go over here to this area. Let's go over to the bar. Um, let's have a drink. Let's go to the dance floor. Wherever you move her, if she goes with you, she's complying. If not, she's not. When you go to kiss her, when you go to make out with her, when you go to be physical, that's compliance test, okay? When you ask her to come home with you, when you ask her for her phone number, when you um, are texting her, does she reply? Like every little piece of game can be broken down into a series of compliance tests, okay? And I know what those key compliance tests are and I've structured my whole method around how to move things forward, just like Jordan Belfort's straight line persuasion system, and then how to redirect things when you hit a point of non-compliance, how to appropriately deal with it and redirect it back to that straight line path, okay, so that you are moving forward again. Like that, this is a pretty huge video. Like this, this is the core of what's happening here, okay, and this is the core of what's happening like in a sales process as well. You have the prospect, you're moving them towards the sale, okay, here you have this stranger this girl that you cold approached you're moving things towards sex okay you want to move things 
forward along the line in, in some sort of relative structured order, which I won't get into right now. But um, when you do that, she's going to not comply at certain points. It's almost like, I've talked about this in other videos, you, you can almost create like um, some kind of like algorithm. Like the amount of time an interaction will take to go from start, like open to close, is a function of how many points of non-compliance you get and how long it takes you to deal with each one before you can move forward again. Okay, so I have a video on my channel, like from high to my bed in 10 minutes. I walk up to the girl, she had lost her friend. It's a street approach. She had lost her friend. She wasn't doing anything. I suggest we live close by. She should come for drinks. She complies or agrees. Okay, I get physical on my back. She's compliant to that. And that's it. Like, it's just call that like the, I call that the green light path. Okay, it's pure compliance. It's very rare. You're usually going to get non compliance to some degree at different stages. Okay, the tighter your game and the, the more smooth you are, the more calibrated you are the less non-compliance you will get, okay, the more experience you have, the less non-compliance you will get, but regardless of how good your game is, there's still gonna be certain points of non-compliance. Oh, she doesn't like to kiss in public. Oh, she doesn't give her number to strangers. Oh, she doesn't go home with strangers that she just met. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Or she's super hot and she just outright dismisses guys on their approach as a habit because most guys are low value and wasting her time. Okay. Um, okay. Let's see here. Mystery says um, some compliance. Compliance has indicators of interest. If you take her hand and drop it, and she grabs for it again. If you squeeze her hand and she squeezes back. If you touch her and she touches back. You put your hand on her knee and she leaves it there. Okay. You put your, her arm in yours and walk her on the venue. She complies. You sit on her lap. She allows it. Um, Okay, now he says if she defies your compliance test, you give her an indicator of disinterest. Okay, so I teach on my live programs and my product, you kind of want to give a face like, it's not, you never want to make things confrontational, okay, because keep in mind she still is, especially early on in the interaction, relatively a stranger. She doesn't owe you anything. She hasn't invested any kind of time or emotions or effort into the interaction yet. So it wouldn't be right to get confrontational, okay, or awkward like, why not? Why not? Like, what's wrong? Like, why won't you do that? Right? You just play it off like, really? Like, your frame that you're putting forth is, it's, you know, people comply with what I want to do all the time. I just, I'm someone that makes things happen, etc. This, I'm someone that's confident and knows what he wants and I move things forward. And it's not a big deal. Okay? But he says you give her an IOD. So that's kind of like an IOD, that facial expression. Then you should, this is what Mystery instructs, demonstrate more value. AKA build up more comfort and vibe and then do another compliance test. Okay. So for example, if you ask a girl to stand up, she may not. This means she has refused your hoop. This doesn't look good. It's a demonstration of lower value to the group. Don't blame her. Maybe she's not attractive and attracted enough yet, or maybe the hoop was too big too early. Okay. Keep in mind, this is all about lowering the compliance threshold. And I'll go over, he talks about compliance threshold. I'll go over that in a second. You want to lower the compliance threshold so that she can comply. He's saying if you make the hoop, if you make the compliance test too big, too soon, okay, there's not enough investment and comfort and attraction there yet, and it's too hard for her to comply with that. Okay, so you have to either lower the compliance threshold down or break that ask into chunks, which is called baby stepping. I'll make another video on that. So she might not be able to go from here to here, but she can go from here to here, and then from here to here, and then from here to here. Okay, and that's where compliance me momentum comes in. And I'll probably do a separate video on that because that's pretty, that's pretty integral of a concept to deserve its own video. But the point is, like, think of you open, the sex is here, it's one big compliance test. Along the way, you have a whole bunch of series of chunked compliance tests. And when we talk about things like last minute resistance, when you guys are encountering like the girl not wanting to hook up once you get her back to your house after a date or after a nightclub pull, that is because you didn't smoothly baby step up the physical escalation and the sexual innuendos with your sexual verbals throughout the night. And now you've had relatively platonic conversation, maybe even framed things for a platonic reason to go back to your house. 
and now you're asking her to start getting into a heavy makeout or getting into all this hookup stuff or you're or now you're like jumping straight towards sex and she's like whoa 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 right that's where a lot of this last minute resistance stuff that gets talked about in the community comes from guys are like how do how do i get over lmr don't never make any of the compliance tests really big they should all be a smooth progression okay throughout the evening directed in a structured way and dealing with non-compliance accordingly okay so getting back to my my previous point if you have an ask that's here okay you can either lower the threshold for the compliance so now the ask is here maybe she comply with that and or you break it into smaller pieces now she can comply here then comply here then comply here same re same end result okay different strategy all right so um he says be unaffected okay no big deal right you just let it roll off you do another demonstration of higher value and try another smaller compliance test show me your hand which can always be followed up by taking your hand and saying okay now stand up for a second there are hundreds of compliance tests. Tell a girl to sit closer, kiss a girl, ask her any question, hold her hand, rub her neck, put her hand on your cock. Those are mysterious examples. <laughs> every escalation, every bounce or move, every touch, even sex itself is a compliance test. When you're wondering how things are going with your current target, ask yourself, what is her compliance threshold level at now? Okay, that's why when I teach my, my system, my method, I, I phrase this a little bit in a different way. To determine where you're at with a particular girl, he calls it a target, that's the old school term, with well, the girl you're talking to that you're hitting on, you want to be making a real-time probabilistic assessment. Real-time probabilistic assessment, which is changing at all times based on her compliance levels and as new information about her logistics comes in, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And that tells you relatively where you're at. Okay, Her DTF level, how, how down to fuck she is, translates into her general compliance level. Okay, this is kind of like a little fucking science lesson here. I'll continue this onto another video, okay, where I will talk about, this is part one, where we will talk about um, compliance thresholds, negative compliance, and compliance momentum. Okay, but I'll, I'll end with this. He, he says, uh, the more value you have, the more she'll permit you to escalate your compliance testing. Okay, this is why, go, going back to my video from last week on demonstrations of higher value, watch that if you have not already. Um, this is why you demonstrate value in the interaction, whether it be in the nightclub, whether it be in a daytime interaction, whether it be on a date, because now you've bumped your value way up, okay, you've, you've exuded confidence and charisma, and you've had the frame like, of course I'm going to get this girl, not in an arrogant way or not in a, you know, creepy way. But, like, I'm a confident guy that makes things happen and gets girls like this all the time. This isn't a big deal to me, etc. And then you are able to get a lot more compliance, okay, because you've built up so much value for yourself. Okay? Um, <laughs> he, and then he says, if you're the misunderstood superstar, her resistance to escalation goes right out the window. All right, so this is beautiful stuff. Like, this is the fucking core of game and persuasion and getting people to go along with what you want to do. And this isn't all about manipulation, keep in mind. You are just making, you're greasing the wheels, so to speak, okay? Guys that don't understand these concepts are going to be asking for things that have compliance that's too high, okay? And it, it's, it's, they haven't built up, uh, built up enough value yet. They don't know how to baby step things down. They don't know how to build up compliance momentum. And I will continue with this teaching, as I said in the next video, on negative compliance, compliance thresholds, and compliance momentum. But I hope this was a good primer on compliance. Those of you that are already familiar with this, I hope this was a good set of reminders. Um, again, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe below. Really? Don't just gloss over it. Because half of you, I can see the stats, half of you that watch my videos are not subscribers. Please subscribe. I put a lot of work into making these videos very valuable. I get emails all the time. The guys have gotten big levelings up just for my free YouTube content. The paid products, which are in the description, by the way, and the live trainings go far, far, far beyond YouTube. Like if you guys think, you know, I know I put a lot of really good value out on YouTube and I, I get good feedback on that all the time, but I really have kind of made a wall and there's way, it goes way beyond that in terms of the secret soft stuff and how 
how much more valuable this content can get. That's in the paid products and the paid programs. But in exchange for me putting in all this hard work, bouncing titties. <laughs> Uh, I'm like a little pervert up here when I make these videos. Um, <laughs> all these chicks always walking back and forth. <clears throat> so, as like a thank you to me for, it's not like you guys fucking owe me anything. I'm putting those videos out for your for your benefit. But just take the two seconds, press the subscribe button. Okay, I wanna. We just hit a million views. I wanna get up to ten thousand subscribers. Okay, there's a lot of catch up to do since I, I didn't get serious about this channel until the past six months. Okay, even though I I don't know anyone even close close to the level of experience and skill and understanding I have of this game. Okay, so I want to keep chugging the content out, but I need your help to make things grow. Share this video with your friends, like, subscribe, and join me tomorrow for compliance lesson part two. Thank you guys, and email me about Brazil immersion if you are interested, okay, because spots are going to go quick on that. Thank you very much. See you guys tomorrow. Take care.